Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? My name is Frank. Uh, hopefully you're having a good day, having a good time. Uh, we're gonna be using Tyranitar in Yu-Yu. Yes, another tier changes episode today from this month of July. Right at the end, we're going to do Tyranitar. Um, and he has dropped down, I think, if not for the first time, for a long time. From OU, it always has been OU. Great stats, as you can see. Very powerful, very tanky, very strong. Uh, it has dropped down to Yu-Yu. And I think that's just because of the speed and the power creep in the end. It just happened. Plus, it lost Pursuit. It usually had Pursuit, so it was excellent to trap um, Psychic types, of course. Uh, and now there's no use for it because you cannot trap so uh, All these things have basically made Tyranitar just drop down to you you and that's incredible. It's the first time. I think that happened um, yeah, I'm very excited to use this in you to be honest. I did already in a stream. We're gonna be posting that at some point um, How this team got built and hopefully you guys uh, you know are feeling it because it's great uh, we're gonna be using Choice Bandit Adamant Nature Tyranitar. It's so fun. It's got the sand too. Uh, we've got the Crunch, the Stone Edge, the Earthquake, and the Fire Punch. Pretty nice coverage. Um, Stone Edge, two hit KOs. Most Skarmories uh, that are not fully Fist Death. Uh, Crunch is just all around very nice stab. Uh, a type, an offensive typing that has very few resistances. And even if you resist, like this is. Is a Steetar. It's not that easy to take down. Okay, then Earthquake. Pretty neutral coverage against most stuff. Uh, if you don't want to miss Stone for example, against Arcanines and other type of mods, uh, has 100% accuracy. And then Fire Punch, because it, it works well for Scarberries. Uh, you know, pretty decent coverage all around. We're gonna be packing the Dual Choice Band. Now this thing is a bit weaker this gen because it doesn't have return. Or frustration, but we're packing retaliate for South Crunch and superpower. Almost never use superpower. Most of the use uh, moves we're going to be using here is just normal stab or crunch, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it hits very hard as well. It's a mosquito around. When I get it, bro, I want to destroy it. It's very hard with a retaliate, bro. N very few resistances on a choice band that stab uh, retaliate after someone dies. Let me tell you, it's very powerful. Uh, so yeah, and it's got the sand rush to get uh, double the speed. Uh, so with that, we have a couple of uh, pretty nice score here. We do have defensive Celebi. He's, he's packing the the U-turn and T-Wave, um, and then Giga Drain and Psychic. Uh, nothing too special, just to tank hits, provide momentum around, spread the T-Waves, and then die. Uh, T-Waves is good because it, it's it's very nice for T-Tar and very nice for the Stoutland. Uh, both together are not the fastest, so having a bit of speed control is great. Then we do have Seismitoad with the Stealth Rocks. It is Yu-Yu, so we can also use Se Sexy Toad in Yu-Yu. I always use Sexy Toad, I know, but it's just so good. Um, it has called Earth Power, of course, and then Toxic and Stealth Rocks. It's going to be setting up hazards and then spreading Toxics around, especially against mons that we cannot T-Wave, so pretty good. A Body Press Scarberry, Max Defense, is the defogger of the team. Uh, hazard Control of the team, I should say because he has spikes too, but then he can defog them, depending on how the match goes, uh, especially webs, so that stuff like that is very annoying. And then body press for some, you know, very, quite powerful damage with a base defense that it got. And last but not least, a Toxtricity. Gives me pretty much a little bit of the resistances that I like, uh, especially poison, especially electric, because, uh, you know, you cannot, you cannot just trust Seismitor to do all of that. Uh, and, you know, a bit of extra speed, even though it's not the faster Scarfer with this typing. Uh, it hits very hard, and it can help cleaning up games while the team has put in so much work. So that is the team. Hopefully it does well uh, in today's recording. And I'm gonna change the account in a sec, and I'll see you guys uh, in the battle. Alrighty. Ooh, Explant. Okay. I like this. I really do. I think I like Celebi though, all around. Pretty good boy. Uh, the Heracross could be a problem. But uh, apart from that, I think we're good. You know. So I'm gonna get this U turn, do, do some damage, then go to Scarberry. See how much damage we can take from a knockoff from this. Pretty powerful, of course. But uh, yeah, I think I like it. We just let it die because this is pretty strong. 
Uh, we'll go back to this. To be honest, there's no reason not to do it again. We could just U-turn. Again, break the potential size of this. Go to the toad. Where's the deaf toad, by the way? But he doesn't know that. <laughs> he does not know it. Oh, he does. Gets a crit too, so I guess he he doesn't. <laughs> well, go to Celebi now. Uh, we tank, of course. Like, I'm not sure if this is choice or not, but he seems to make predictions. So I think he is choice. Oh, never mind, maybe not. He gets another crit. Well, that's just good stuff, isn't it? That is just good stuff for me. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna reveal that I'm Scarf. Kill this. This is very strong. Against his team. But I, my team is super weakened. With the crits and this Terrakium just staying in doing damage. I guess it's good if he's not choice. Yeah, I can understand it. We can try to win. And here comes this. I'm gonna stay in, even if he aqua jets. I don't really mind. I'll just take the damage. Kill the crowd on as well. Well done. Toxtricity boy. And this thing is faster. Alright. Go to this socket. I actually went for this move. Huh. I guess it makes sense. Now we're going to this. We sacrifice Celebi. There we go. Go into Doggy. We'll retaliate. And we'll kill the cross. That's beautiful. And we are choice bandit. Uh, that's a, no, uh, a tremendous overkill. And look at this sand effect from Pedro. It's wonderful, isn't it? Actually, no, I'm gonna switch out here. Yeah, none of that. And now, choice bandit crunch should be able to just do it. I can even see the ranting of the other player too. It's very nice. It's another crit. Um, why are you getting so many crits, bro? That's pretty insane. Oh, the sand just ran out right now. That is a bit annoying, but it's okay. We just retaliate everything. Take the scald. It gets the fucking burn. It's okay though. I think it just needs a bit of damage. Okay. <laughs> I'll Volt Switch, Jump Scarf, kill the Starvy. I don't know why he just doesn't do anything. And I may outspeed this. It just depends if he's plus speed nature or not. He's not, so we win with Dunk. Fabulous. The team worked perfect. Uh, very powerful crunch from, from Tyranitar. Uh, very nice speed and power from Stoutland. Absolutely love. Now I have to go to the bathroom for a sec, so I'll be back. Okay. I think I'm back, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a Sun team. Okay, this could go either way. I like it. I think leading Titar is usually good though. I don't know if he's faster or not. Uh, he's not, but still, you know, I have very powerful stone just coming your way right now. See how much Skarmory takes from it. And he does 51%. He does have lefties though. Uh, so we're gonna waste the sun a bit. Doesn't have a ground type. So in fact, I might just be aggressive. Do this. I stay always click roost. And just, uh, you know, vol switch around. I have no reason not to, really. If he brings the Blissey, now we can bring the Tita. Once again. Very nice. Uh, I'll. I'll Fire Punch, perhaps. He goes into Torkoal. I don't know why is that a switch in. But I guess he predicted the Fire Punch exactly. So that's pretty good. He's gonna get rocks. I'm gonna do the same. Or not. Okay, let's go to Titar immediately. Uh, we'll see if he has the Stone Edge or not. But she just goes, just, just goes for an overheat. Pretty good stuff. And now that his attack is lower, once again, aggression going to, to this. Voltage around. No reason not to do it. Uh, we're gonna click the fire punch again, I think. I see, it was a Turkle. That's incredible. That truly is magnificent. But, I'm gonna stay in this time and do some damage to Terrazard. Yeah, boy. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't really have good switches for this, though, so I'm gonna sack this. Or not. Okay, take this Take this hit. I guess that's fine. Go back into Titar. As he goes into Valisi, fantastic. 
And... Fire punch again on the Skarm. There we go. There we go. It's just nice. I'll do it again too. I'm weakening his team so much. And we're going to Toad. I don't know if he has the Solar Beaver or not. That'd be great if he does. Uh... Back into this. There we go. No no healing on this. And now you're super weak, so I can just crunch. Get down with this Blissey. And it's over. Where's the Zods? Oh, he does have Focus Blast, but he misses. Okay, that was a bit unfortunate, but that's the move. That's how it is. You know. I want to stay in. I can not take this. Oof. Alright, never mind. Going to Doggy. And... I think I'll retaliate. I could, I could do hit Kaelish cover, perhaps. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if Retaliate affects this turn, though. No, it doesn't. Okay, too bad. I guess I lost then. Hmm. Mega Toad. Oh, fuck. I cannot take this hits at all. Oh, I think I lost. I don't have sand. Hmm. Okay. Let's go into this. Try to defog. Do a bunch of damage with retaliation now and see if it's it's not even close enough. Well, I guess Doc can do it. No, he cannot. Damn. Well, Darmanitan is a beast. I love Darmanitan, so at least I got destroyed by that. It was just too strong. Can I take a Giga? I can take a Giga. That's pretty good. Can I kill it? It's offensive. So perhaps, yeah. Ah, right, that was pretty close. But yeah, now I can ju I just lose the scarf. The last place he did, he did. We were playing very fast. Uh, the last place he did were were actually pretty good. Got him in the game, so it's a good game. I loved it. it. Was pretty close. I think I messed it up a bit with the with the place mid game, uh, but all around, pretty good. Pretty good. Satisfied with this. Only good battles I won, even though it not doesn't always happen. <laughs> hmm. I have the scum lead. But man, people use fucking love using Crodons. It's a lovely Pokemon to use, to be honest. You know what? I'll go for this. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's Sash. Oh god, okay. Well, it's okay, it's okay. Who does that? Who leads with this? Is this a new lead? A new Sash lead? I kind of like it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I think this is very good, though. Now, now that this is dead, uh, Scarberry shines. Rises and shines, as they say. So we can do it. Probably he's thinking about it now. Uh, British Cobalion, maybe thinking I cannot do anything against him, but in fact I can. He T-Wish me, which is not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. He seems to be lefties. Uh, if I can weaken him, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna defog now. Iron Head. Just keep defogging, I guess. Like, I win against you. Well, not if I get paralyzed, though. Oh, he's gonna kill himself, though. Let me spike. <laughs> oh, he didn't do it. Shit. It's okay, though. I'll defog anyways. Okay, good. He did this. That's alright. I don't have that many switches to this, sadly. Uh, I doubt he's gonna go... <sighs> for a grass move on me? I don't know, I guess I'll go to Salaby first. Yeah, that's good. Now, he might be faster. But that's okay. We're gonna defog later. So we pick the Cobalion up. Excellent. We can T-Wave. Pretty much everything but Flygon. Uh, do I want to T-Wave this? Eh. Do I? I don't really have switches if it's specs though. So, yes. Hmm. 
I think I would sure for sure thought he would go into Flygon in U turn. But maybe the Flygon is Dragon Dance, could be. Although for the team structure, I think he's gonna be scuffed. Yeah, see? I really have strategies for this. I guess I could try to weaken him. A bit. There we go. Now I'll defog if possible. Here comes the crossbow. We do have the teeter for this. I hope it's not DD though, with the earthquake. Oh, that'd be sad. I should just call mine. That's okay. Do we we'll do a little bit of crunchy crew since this is offensive Sylveon. I think this is okay. I don't think this is taking it, bro. Oh, it is. Oh, is that defensive set? That's so weird. That's such a weird set. <laughs> well, I guess people liked it. Now we tank it. Earth power, not earthquake. Okay. Rocks. Rocks on the Roserade. Yep. There we go. Fabulous. Now we're gonna go into Scarborough and try to get the Roost. And we'll see if it spikes or not. If it spikes, that's annoying. We just seed. Uh, he's not recovering much HP to be honest, so I'll just get this opportunity to get a, a sweet roost, right? There we go. Looking healthy. Uh, not much I can do, so I'll just set up one spike. And then go back to this because he's gonna defog. Or roost, yeah. I'm thinking a scalding because he might roost, expecting rocks, but he didn't, so that's good. Okay, nice. Do I need this? I kind of want to freeze switch into things. Yeah, okay, I think I, this is the, like the least useful stuff. I'll just, I'll just do damage to the Sylveon. If I can 2-hit KO with crunch, I'll be set. I think that's my way of winning, because I can just crunch. With Titar, not risking the Stone Edge. Especially, too, he has the flag on as well. So, we can just do a bit of damage. We even got a crit. Wow. Is that a Hyper Beam? What a savage. <laughs> Alright. Dog it is. We kill this. Good. If he comes to the crossbow, just directly to Titar. No scared of it at all. That's right. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Hold on. Is he faster? He's gonna be faster. Perhaps not. He's a yeah. He's a, he's a he's a calm mindset. I don't think that's faster at all. So here comes the flagon. I tried to kill it. He tries to kill me, but he fails. Damn, Titar, here we go. And now we have the sand for two more turns. Dog can just come in and win. Absolutely savage. Love it. You can protect all you want. I mean, if he doesn't have a double protect, he might win. But Even if, I think Dog can take any hit. Still, yeah. Put him in range of the sand. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think that's just still kills. If he giga drains, uh, that could be a problem. But I'm faster, because he's just full ball. GG. Alright, nice. We got him. The power of the sands. Dude, the double band is amazing. This team feels very fun to play. Maybe I'll do a team with it. Should I make a team with it, guys? What do you think? A bit of water. Oh, it feels good. Oh, the water feels good, yes. Very nice. Now we go. Very powerful team. Oh my god. Oh my god. Very strong. Lit with the electric boy. Uh, he doesn't have a, a ground type. So that's why I'm doing it. Do I reveal that I'm Scarf immediately? Nah. I'll wait a bit. Yeah. 
And that's kind of annoying that he has the voltage on this, yeah. For Skarmory, is pretty good. Alright, we go to this. Usually, a Trin is a pretty decent switch to Tyranitar. Especially if it does that. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna go for an Earthquake. Trying to get the Cobalion. I think any other. Or the Crawdon, if he feels, you know. If he feels adventurous. But he went to Cobalion, takes a shit ton of damage. And this time he has to, like, close combat. I don't trust she does. she's not gonna close combat. There's no way. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, so I think now... Uh, now it finishes. I'm gonna go into this. Oh, the sand doesn't finish now. Shit, I'll vote switch. Yeah. I think his own toxicity is coming to town. So we're not gonna allow that. There we go. And we do have Spadef Seismitoad. And maybe he just feels good by going for Boombus. But because I'm Spadef, I'm gonna try to pick up the skill this time. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it could be great if he calcs, you know. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's so good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes. Now, here comes the crowd over. He's angry about it. The boy is angry. I can try to get rocks as I die. <laughs> hmm. Kinda have to go into this, right? Well, I'm worried that the Aqua Jet actually picks me up, but he decided to switch, so that's good for me. I cannot take another Aqua Jet this next time, though, so that's a bit unfortunate. Just a nice fire punch on my part. Should be enough to kill the Hatrin. Hits Noivern. Hits Cobalion. It's beautiful. And kills Hatrin. Awesome. Alright, so no more fucking Hatrin, finally. Jesus. And I'll try to defog on Cobalion, perhaps? I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to. But uh, we can try. Right, let's go to Salaby. Hoping he goes for a water attack move. Hey, wait. That was supposed to be Salaby. What? What did I do? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, I guess that worked. Doc. We have one turn of dog. Uh, it's gonna be great. Did I make the prediction? It's obvious. It's obvious. He has to know that the power of dog. Come on, bro. I just need to get the Cobalion. Once the Cobalion is down, dog wins. <laughs> fucking. He doesn't fucking know. It's always this shit, bro. Oh, whatever. It still did a lot of damage, but pisses me off. Doesn't know that the dog is faster. Or something, I don't know. Or maybe he made the play. No, yeah, now you can do that. Wow. Very good, bro. I'm not gonna win this one because of that play, I think. But we'll see. Iron Head is nothing. I don't have recovery, sadly, but. A oh, psychic this time. Do a bit of damage to the Cobalion. He needs to fucking die to crunch. That's what I need to do. I haven't revealed that I'm uh, scoffed. So yeah, we do damage. That's good. Curum comes in. I'll try to deal with this. Uh, I have a lot of speed, so I might be faster. Perhaps not, but I might be. So he seems to be quite fast. I go into this. Dog. And we do the retaliation. No switchings, I think. We just had a Pokemon dead. That's a 140 base power boof of a choice band. Stab. Urban nature dog. With 50... You know, all that attack. All of that. Okay? It's a lot. 
So down goes the Noivern. Here comes the Crawdont. And perhaps if it's Bandit, I lose to Aquajet. But we will see. Alright. Wait. What is it? That's interesting moves he's doing. But perhaps it is what uh, what he did needs to do, because I think this is scuffed. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't switch anyways, but... Kirib just won. Oh, and then he had this on the back of... GG. Good game. Kirib and Crodon, pretty strong. Uh, the play with Noivern, either he predicted it, uh, or he just didn't fucking know. And I think that hurt me quite a bit, because Dog took so much damage. And his utility was very, um, very affected by it, right? Well, we'll see. This is the last one. We'll see what we can do. Crocodile is pretty scary. Uh, yeah. That's a thing that happens. And bug priority is very scary, too. Oof, I don't think I can win this one. But we can fucking try. Not this, though. Scarblade is usually safe. I'm just worried about Rotom lead. How about we lead with Celebi then? I can't U turn on more stuff. I can try to T wave more more stuff. Uh, but yeah, this 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 matchup looks terrible for me. <laughs> terrible. But we can goddamn try. I'm a grass type. He's not gonna risk it. So early. He's gonna go for the safe move now. Yeah. Got him. I guess. On oh, spike. Okay. I could have just done a lot of damage to him, but. I guess he doesn't give a fuck. Okay, good. Get the rocks. I go to Celebi and you and start to get uh, some momentum because I think he's gonna defog now. I see both switches. It's very sad. Sad for me though. I see comes with Serena. Yeah, I mean he's speeding, right? Yeah, that's okay. We just weaken it. See, knocks off. Now we U-turn. Look at that damage, that's so good. He gets paralyzed, which is very unfortunate for him. Uh, I'm not choice of this, so no reason not to roost. I think he's gonna take this opportunity to go into Rotom, but that's fine, I'll be at max HP, which is what I want. I see you turns, okay. That's fantastic. He's still fast. <laughs> With that plus <laughs> beat, that's, that's pretty nuts. Here comes this. I haven't revealed body press, right? No. Almost killed this. Yeah, he's clicking taunt. That was obvious. Okay, good. Kill the crook. Room comes in. Uh, just toad. Yeah, no voltage garbage. The Celebi? Oh, shit. Okay, he killed me. Awesome, awesome. That's good, that's good. Did I just try to go for damage now? No, I'll go to this. He lost his ground type, so... Now I'm looking pretty... Pretty fucking healthy right now here. Boom. Alright, Serena goes down. Uh, this is all good for me. Honestly, what a Rotom can do. I guess he... Just a free switch into this. All the time. That's okay, have Earth Power instead of Earthquake. Look at that. Qu oh, that's a crit. My bad. But it was a very close to hit KO anyways. So one of the problems is now dealt with. Uh, it'll just s stay in here. <laughs> that's pretty dumb. 15. Nah. No. Go to this. Yeah, it's alright. Go to the Skarm. We take. Pretty good. Defog. Not choice to. A close combo did so much damage. How are you doing this? 
Are you not just afraid of this? I guess he doesn't give a fuck. We'll just roost it. Okay, well, we'll just go to this. He's so low on HP, we could just retaliate. Uh, Accelerock, meh. He cannot take this. Yeah, Rotom, Rotom is not a switch in. Nothing is a switch in. Done. Alright, here comes this though. This is quite a kind of spooky. Uh, I kind of want to want to keep this. And this. Probably Dieter is like the most useless stuff, so I'm not going to go into him. Die. <laughs> I see spikes of all things. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Got the spike, very good. Now I'll just die. There we go. And now here we go again. Nom nom nom. And we are Scarf of the other, so I'll just go for damage here. Boom. <laughs> and yeah. I haven't revealed that I'm Scarf at least. Oh, he, I did, but that's not enough. One, only one hit, uh, life repeat left. So that is the showdown life. Pretty strong team. I feel very comfortable with it, so I'm probably going to make a team builder about it. I'm excited for that. And I hope you guys enjoy it, to be honest. Undo. Yeah. It was pretty close, though. Oh, he left. I mean, I had the toad at uh, a lot of HP. It just would have done a bit more damage to it. Uh, but I guess I can get it. Sorry, Spank. Hope life goes better for you. And for you too, watcher, viewer, my friends. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you have a great time. Uh, you had a great time. And you will continue having great times. And you're staying safe, washing your hands and all that. I'll say goodbye to you. Uh, so, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>